Uh, YouTube, here we are again with another eighteen pounder that I've recently got. Um, actually, I got this one yesterday, and um, I took, I've taken the fuse part and the shell does go into the casing here. But I'll just show you the shell itself. You see there, I think you can. It's a very thick shell, so I think this one would have been wouldn't have been a shrapnel shell. It would have been um, one that just exploded completely, just because of the thickness and. The lack of room inside, but it could have been a shrapnel shell. I have no idea really. So, um, I'll just show you the fuse here. Um, this is the second fuse that I've taken apart. The other one is my French beehive fuse, which I'll show you in another video. So, I'll we'll, we'll start off here with the top nose cone, and you see that's empty, and it's in here that there is. So, just move these over. ring comes up and it has it only has one pin because I dropped the other pin but um here you can see this disc there's no dates or anything on these rings or on the fuse itself on the outside and timer ring there and the ring with all the numbers and digits on you can see there quite nice good condition and if I just get that out for you a little charge not bad condition quite shiny and came out straight away when I took it apart and not brilliant and shiny yet but um, I put it on the fire to get it apart and it does take a while to clean up after it's been burnt for like an hour so yep there's my um, fuse and I will show you another video later. Uh, I have another one up. Um, most probably of my French BI fuse and the two new fuses that I got as well yesterday. So, thanks for watching.